I've had a number of calls recently asking me about split testing with particular reference to Facebook ads. So today I thought I'd show you how to set up Facebook split tests using the Facebook Power Editor. And this, if you've not come across it before, is a fantastic tool to allow you to actually set up Facebook ads very quickly and to be able to replicate them to split test many different variations of an ad. Before we start on that, you may well be intrigued by the photograph here. This is the Damien Hirst uh, sculpture in Ilfracombe. It's, it's called Verity. And you see I took the photograph just as it was actually being installed. There's still scaffolding around it. But the reason I put this on is because I'm actually doing some advertising at the moment for a college where they want to promote their sculpture courses as part of their art and design offer. And we've used Facebook to do this, so I thought I'd show you how to actually split test sculpture ads on Facebook uh, as I'm doing for this particular college. To get into the Power Editor, first of all go into your Facebook account and on the left hand side you'll see a button marked there with the red arrow called Power Editor. Just press this button and it will take you through to the Power Editor software system which runs alone. You can actually have both accounts open at the same time and see what's happening in your Facebook page at the same time as you're actually operating your replication, duplication of adverts in the Power Editor. When you get into the Power Editor, you'll see quite a large screen. I've taken up a screen grab here of just the top right hand corner where it will have a download button. So simply click onto that and it will allow you to download uh, as many accounts as you manage, in most cases of course for a provider that would be one. In my case I've got a number that I can download from different clients. But select the account you want to download when pressing the download button and that will then start to download your account into the Power Editor. This may take two or three minutes depending on the size of the account um, but seems to work quite seamlessly on most occasions. To set up a new ad or indeed you can actually work on existing ads but will on this occasion set up a new ad you'll see your screen comes up like that I've taken a screen grab of just part of the screen but it will allow you to set up your initial ad if that's what you want to do as you'll see there's a on the left hand side we have creative and placements and that's the screen I'm in at the moment and I've started there to set up an advert you'll see I've actually gone for the type of advert and this occasion for a website. I'm not actually going back with the ad pointing at a Facebook page but actually pointing to the college website on this occasion. I've put in the web address for demonstration purposes that's my own website but this would be your website the particular page where that course actually runs. We then put in a headline as with any standard advert we write a piece of text but then most importantly on Facebook ads, we select an image. And the image I chose, in actual fact, was the Verity sculpture from Ilfracombe. It's quite a famous image in the sense that you, you love it or hate it. It's a bit more like Marmite, um, but it is recognisable as a piece of sculpture. The image actually lends itself to Facebook as well because it's got a lot of blue sky, which makes it stand out. Remember that advertising on Facebook is very intrusive so we need to grab the person's peripheral vision their attention through the peripheral vision to look at the advert so I'm hoping in this case a blue background will grab attention people will look at it and think ah that's sculpture I'm interested in sculpture what's this all about then read the ad and you'll see here that as we've started to write the ad so it starts to appear as a sample preview now I've not put the photograph in there yet as you can see, so there's no picture showing, but already it's showing us an estimated reach for this ad. I've actually put a bit more detail in on the next page, which is giving us a relatively small reach. Now, one last thing to remember, you'll see also on the top left there are two errors. This is because we've not completed the actual process of creating the ad. So next, let's move on to the next page and start to put that right. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually using the duplicate button on the page. After I set up the first ad, I got an ad called Become a Sculpture, number one. 
I've then used the duplicate button to actually add replications of that ad. You can do this by just keep on duplicating the existing ad. It will then renumber them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's a reason I've done the numbering 5 to 6, because I want the split test age groups. Before we move on to that, let's just see where I've actually got my advert pointed. It's pointed, as you know, at a website, but I'm also pointing at people that are on Facebook but reside in the city of Exeter. Again, I've taken a city at random here. And to get a city, you just literally click on the city button and start to type in your city name. It should then select it from a drop down box of options. You click onto that, up it comes. Just below that, you'll see a button that I've ticked that says include cities within 10 miles. There's a various number of options here that you can click in terms of the number of miles from the center. And if you look on the right hand side where you see estimated reach 16,000, we've got 16,000 people that live in the UK who live within 16 kilometers of Exeter. You'll notice that they actually work in miles and kilometers on the same page, which is a little confusing, but not to worry. And you'll also see there that I'm actually targeting on this particular variation of the ad, the age groups 21 to 30. And if you go above the estimated reach into the column above where it says age, you'll see that I've started at the bottom one is 15 to 20, the next one is 21 to 30. The rest are replicated, I haven't yet changed the age groups. But if you look down here, where the last arrows come up, you'll see that in those boxes there, I can actually then decide what age groups to go. And for simplicity, I've done them in 10 year age groups. So group one does the teens, two does the twenties, group three there become a sculpture number three, becomes the thirties, become a sculpture number four, becomes the forties, etc, etc. For some reason, Facebook seems to think no one goes on Facebook above the age of 64. So the last group will be 61 to 64. I've also selected here the gender, because I want to split test the results between male and female, as well as between age groups, and indeed cities, because I can put in more than one city. And here I've moved on to this next screen where you can see I've now completed the age groups. I've got a whole range of age groups now, as indicated, all pointing at the city of Exeter, all for women. And I can then move on to the next stage, which is to replicate once again all six of those ads. And you'll see that they've all been greyed out on this screen because I've actually selected all of them. And you do this very simply by selecting the first one and using the shift key to select a group. Press the duplicate button again and they'll actually replicate all of those exactly as they stand at the moment. But what I can now do is I've now gone from the first six selected, I've gone into a second six from number seven to twelve. I've selected the city of Plymouth in this case. I've then re replicated that group of twelve and change the gender. So what I've done is I've got all the age groups, six different age groups, I've got two cities, and I've got male and female. Give me a total of 24 different adverts. The next stage now is to upload these into my Facebook account. This is very simple to do. You literally just press the upload button. It will take a few minutes to do, but these will automatically upload in the background into my Facebook account. Now I can go back into Facebook and actually check the results as the adverts run. I can start to see, is it male or female that's most interested in this particular advert? What age groups? In other words, is it the young people themselves? Or maybe their parents or grandparents? Or indeed, is this actually an advert that's attracting older people who want to do a full-time course? So there's a lot of information that I can get out of 24 adverts. And obviously, this is a form of market research. It will tell you an awful lot more about the type of customer you may in future engage. And a very good way to research if a course is viable for the future. Before you actually decide to run a course, run a few ads, run them to a test page on your website that gives some background. See if you get enough people interested in that course before you go to the trouble of actually setting down writing the curriculum and running the course. 
You could even use it in that case to actually bring people into an, uh, an open evening about a particular new course that you're thinking about doing, where you could carry out more research by asking the right question, making the right presentations. So this is a way to use Facebook not only to split test, but also to get people into the college to carry out and conduct more market research. So I hope you found that an easy way to start split testing your Facebook ads. If you have any questions, of course, just feel free to give me a ring or contact me through my various websites. And I look forward to producing some more videos for you on your questions. Please keep the questions coming as well. For more marketing advice, you can contact me via my various websites, stephandrew.com or collegeandtrainermarketing.com.